Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is... Hi, and welcome to this new episode of Building Conduit Using Closure Script. In this video, we're going to finish off with the authentication section. But before we go ahead and do that, let's go ahead and, and fix some of the typos from the previous episode. So in the registration route, it should be when instead of if function. And we're also going to delete this console log from here. And the second change that we're going to make is in the settings route, the name should be route slash settings. So we are going to namespace it. And with that done, we are ready to implement the login functionality. And um, the process will be exactly the same as the registration functionality, except that we won't be capturing the username. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's add the properties to the input fields where we can change the email and password. Now if you refresh and if you see over here, if you try to refresh, it redirects us to a different page. So something is happening. Let's see. So if you go to the core.cljs, we are calling the odd.me function. So if we disable that, now we should not be redirected. So we, we can delete this from this function here. We will be calling this function shortly, but let's focus on login functionality first. So let's go back to login.clgs and also instead of passing an empty map, let's pass the state, um, the login state. And now if you try to test this, uh, it makes a post request and the response is an error where it says the email or password is invalid. Now the next step is to display this error to the user so the user knows that, that they have made a mistake. So we can copy the component from the registration component as well as the auth, the error state as well. And now if we try to refresh and sign in, now we will see the error. Perfect. Um, so now let's try with the happy path so something with that does exist so as you can see we have been logged in um, however the 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 the, um, the navigator is still showing us login sign in and sign up so we need to uh, change our header component to include the logged in view as well as logged out view as you can see on the react component here so the process is pretty straightforward and uh, let's go ahead and do that. So in the header.cljs, we're going to create two components called uh, logged out view. So the current header component is the logged out view. Actually, let's call it on auth header instead of logged out view. There you go. And this header component is going to accept a single argument called the current user which is the authenticated user. And if a current user exists, then we're going to show an authenticated header. And here we're going to show four different links, the home, new article, settings, as well as uh, the, uh, the user. So first, let's see how we can escape HTML entities in, um, in ClojureScript. So we can use the Google DOM library for that. So let's go ahead and implement the header component. So for now, we're going to pass it as true so that we can see the component so that it's easier to see. We're also going to add the icons. And we're going to add the Google DOM library. We're going to import Google string and we're going to use that function on its unescape entities and passing the NDSP. So this is just going to add an extra space, right? So if you invoke this, there you go, just add an extra space. And the process is similar for settings as well. Um, so let's add an icon to it. So the icon is icon gear A. 
and this is supposed to give us a nice settings icon and we also going to pass the call the unescape entities function from uh, Google stream and I guess we have indentation problem okay there you go it's problem uh, is solved and finally we need to add the uh, we need to add the current user so we need to pass the current user actually let's call it authentic authenticated user or auth user and if you go to the header um, sorry if you go to the layout here we're going to import the auth from auth namespace and pass the auth state to this header component uh, so now our header component is, is aware if the user has so right now as you can see we don't have any auth state but if you go and try to log in again then we should see the new uh, authenticated header and as you can see we have the authenticated user um, so let's go ahead and finish the the header component let's also add um, add a list item where we show the name of the authenticated user username so if if the user has a picture then we will display a picture otherwise we're just going to display um, their username so I believe it's username you know what let's just destructure from the from the top level and we can just pass it as an image and username so now if, you, if we save we should see learn you dev popped up okay so now that is done now we are ready to go back to the me function actually let's also change the the settings because we want if the user clicks on settings we want it to go to the settings page not to the login page or registration page okay so now that is done and now we are ready to implement the um the me we have to change this function right because uh we cannot use auth success uh handler because here we are doing a lot of things such as resetting the auth state, resetting the error, and for me function it doesn't make sense because we are not we are not sending anything. We're just requesting if the auth user exists or not. So instead of doing a whole lot of things, we're just going to uh, if we get the user from the response, we are going to reset the auth state. So so let's just delete everything from the function and just reset the auth state with the the user. And we'll also write another function called get me error. And in this case, we want the user to be redirected to login page. And this may happen when the user is, is trying to access the page and they are on authenticated. So for now, we will, um, we will, we will redirect the user to login page, but this may change later on. We will see how the app behaves and we're gonna pass it as the error handler to me function. And we're gonna call this in the routes. So in the root controller, uh, we have the start function. And within the start function, we're going to call this function um, of me. So now if we refresh the page, everything should work as expected. If the user is logged in, then the uh, then the app tries to make a request to the API to see if the user exists or not. And if the user does exist, then we show this authenticated um, header. So in this video, we learned a lot of things. We implement, uh, implemented the login functionality. We changed the header to accept the auth user. We also looked at the unescape entities from uh, google.string namespace. And we also uh, made some changes to our um, routes as well as to the me function which fetches the current authenticated user and if the author does not exist then we just redirect the user to uh, the login page so that's it for now um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video where we will implement not authentication stuff so thank you for watching and uh, have a good one bye